Hi everyone, welcome to Upskill Audio's channel. It's me, Grover Neville again, here to talk about more headphones. Today we're gonna to talk about the Odyssey LCD5. Uh, again, those of you who may know me know that I worked for Odyssey briefly, and was actually at the company in uh, the sort of late stage development of the LCD5. So I've gotten to hear this headphone a lot, and I also got to hear the pre-production versions of this through several iterations. It's been a really interesting process, and to hear how it transformed from the sort of earlier versions to the final production-ready version was really, really interesting. This headphone definitely came a long way, and is the result of a lot of careful listening by a lot of folks, professional engineers, musicians, uh, the folks at Odyssey, myself, and others. So I can't take <laughs> any credit for it. Obviously, the fantastic engineers at Odyssey are the ones who made it sound fantastic, but that's really, um, that's really been an interesting process, at least to be a fly on the wall for. Now, one of the things that I think is really cool about the LCD5, and it's not about the sound, but it's just about the build quality, is it's very, very light. It's only 420 grams. This is much lighter than previous Odyssey flagships. All of the parts you see here, they might not look like much, but are actually made out of magnesium, carbon fiber, uh, the rings are acetate. Everything is completely redesigned in the entire headphone. So it's pretty exciting. It's a new platform for Odyssey. Uh, it's got a new headband type. This is all carbon fiber. It's extra lightweight. The Yoke adjustments are new, and it's a really, really comfortable headphone. The ear pads are new, custom, uh, sort of beveled shape, uh, much, much more comfortable than uh, previous ear pads have been, and, and they sound fantastic. So um, overall, ergonomically, this is a really, really cool headphone, and it's very exciting for fans of the Odyssey brand because it retains their distinctive styling while also being a much more comfortable headphone. Now, when it comes to sound, the LCD5 uses what Odyssey is calling their parallel uniforce diaphragm technology. It's using the super, super thin diaphragm from the LCD4, but pairing it with a different circuit trace and different topology. The result is a sound that's actually really, really fast. Typically, I've thought of Odysseys in the past as being really weighty, dynamic, meaty, lots of low-end type of headphones. They do have snap and punch, but the LCD5, to me, takes that to a new level. It's got a really open top end. It's got a really, really lightning fast dynamic presentation, and it just sounds incredibly punchy. Now, one thing that I would probably alter a little bit about this headphone is that I like a little more low end, as many of you know, below about 100 hertz. For me, a great pairing with this, and it's something I mentioned with the LCD-X as well, is the 33 ohm tap on the Audio-Technica 5050 headphone amp brings the low end up just a little bit and brings down the 3K area just a bit. My only slight uh, uh, sort of shift in this headphone's frequency response is that I would want to take down the upper mid-range just a little bit. Some people find it to be perfect, and it does depend on your choice of amplifier. For me, a nice tube amplifier smooths out that range, and it gives me the sound that I want to hear. For some people, they might prefer it with something that's a little bit brighter and to really lean into that fastness and that punchiness. Overall, although it's a headphone that some people might find uh, a little too fast and punchy, I think that you'll be hard pressed to find anyone who isn't at least very impressed by the performance of the LCD5. It's a great headphone for anyone who really likes to listen to metal, modern pop music, anything that requires uh, speed and dynamics. Bluegrass music sounds phenomenal on these headphones. And again, for me, when I've got an amplifier or a little bit of EQ working to bring up the low end, it sounds super, super punchy as well. It's not quite as huge and enveloping and, and sort of meaty in the low end as the LCD4 is, but again, that lightning fast presentation is really, really addictive. To me, this is sort of in a different class of headphone from previous Odyssey headphones and is definitely worthy of being called a new flagship. The impedance is very, very low, however, which is a bit of a change from the LCD4, which was a much higher impedance. This headphone is about a 14 ohm impedance, so super, super low. You're not necessarily going to want to plug this into an output transformerless headphone amplifier that uses tubes. You might, however, really find that it works great with solid state amplifiers and transformer coupled amplifiers, though, because they can provide a lot of voltage and a lot of current to it. And that's really going to make these headphone amplifiers sing and this headphone sing. Now, I think that. As a total package, what's also really cool about the LCD5 is that they provide a balanced cable with it natively, as well as an adapter. So you can use this with any headphone amplifier in your stable, and it's going to work great with all of them. Again, I find that the balanced headphone amplifiers that have a little bit of extra warmth to them sound really, really great. Um, but the LCD5, to me, is sort of a almost electrostatic type sound out of a planar magnetic headphone. And to me, that's really exciting. And it's also really exciting to see new industrial design and new circuit trace thinking from Odyssey. As always, 
check out our website, upscaleaudio.com. Give us a call. We always treat your system like it's our own here at Upscale Audio. And catch us next time to talk about more headphones.